Hello, Classic, wherever you are. I hope you're staying safe, so much warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. And real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button? Please hit share. Please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you would like to donate, you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but if it is, truly appreciate it. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of with all my heart ahead of time to anybody who chooses to do so. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. And thank you to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. All right, guys, I apologize. If you did not see um, part one and two, go watch part one and two. Um, my brain out of storage space. Okay. Uh, you know, um, I'm on my actual cell phone, so I, I pray this doesn't take that long to upload the part three. But I just wanted to finish this reading, you know, up real quick. All right. So, all right. Now, um, I'm not sure if it, if it recorded the um, on part two. Because, you know, my other cell phone, it only, it only allows me to record, um, like, 33 minutes and 23 seconds, I think it is. And then it'll keep recording, and then it'll record, like, only so much time. Sometimes it's only 8 minutes, sometimes it's only 6-something, sometimes it's, like, 12 or 13 minutes, I don't know. So, it's whatever's fucking wrong with that damn phone. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that's what happened. So, go watch part 1 and 2. But the last one came out was the King of Swords in Reverse. This is somebody who lied on you. Um, they're a pathological liar. They're a pathological individual liar. They they wake up, they tell lies, they go to sleep, they tell lies. All, everything is lies. They lie about everything. Um, they, they're just a pathological liar. They lie about everything. They believe their own lies. Um, they don't know fucking, you know, they don't even know who the hell they are. They don't know, they don't even know the truth, okay? Um, they're a very horrible liar. Well, I feel like they, they, they went... Somebody lied to the justice system about you, okay? They tried to get you framed, okay? Now, the cops know that this shit was not you. They were like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? I see a collective, like, divine being. Um, you know, they're very, very gifted. They're very honest. They're very loyal. They're very, they're hard workers. Da, da, da. Um, why are you trying to frame a bitch, okay? Let's go see why this person's saying this about them. Now, it's like God's, like, balancing things out, okay? Um, and now the justice system's seeing that there's some shady shit. Now, this is why I feel like your ex or somebody was trying to come back in to smile on your face and stab you in the back because they know they're running out of time. They knew this lie on you. They could possibly could get themselves out of trouble. Um, they could have um, possibly, you know, caught charges or been incarcerated themselves and made a deal to get out and to, you know, set somebody up. Well, they're going around setting people up. You were one of the people they were going to set up, but not only set up, they were going to frame you, all right, um, to get themselves out of trouble. Or just to get you locked up so they can steal something from you. I don't fucking know. They're fucking haters. Now they're fighting amongst each other because now they realize, oh shit, like you, you, you're free. Like they can't, they can't frame you. This is why they're trying so hard to come back in to finish their job, to, to plant some evidence on you, to try to get you caught up because now the justice system seeing who they are, they're a fucking liar. Um, they're, they're getting ready to lock these motherfuckers up, but they're fighting amongst each other, okay, about this pathological liar, this habitual liar, these, these narcissistic ass, evil ass people, they're not protected, okay, um, you are, and they're under heavy judgment for all the lies and trails that was made about you, okay, um, they're very cutthroat, they'll do anything, like, you know what I mean, to get their way, they, they lie about literally everything, alright, they made, they lied about some sort of job over, like, I feel like they, they were, they're, it could be karmic family, it could be your ex, it could be, I don't know, it could be fucking anybody, um, but they're going around paying people too, to, to lie on you, and to, it could be your family, um, they could have said that you sold your body, uh, or, you know, or that you, you do, you know, illegal things that either, that, that you sell drugs, you sell your body, or something like that, it was all lies, all right, and whatever goals they had for you, whatever lies that they were spreading, they're under heavy judgment for people are seeing the truth, all right, and, um, the people in power, like the authority figures, were seeing the truth that these people are pathological liars, all right, you're about to get some sort of blessing, um, you know, uh, a generous blessing from, it's like, a, you know, it's a gift from God, it's like gonna be, you know, you're gonna be able to generously, um, uh, you know, it's a generous blessing where you're going to be able to bless the pockets of other people. Also, the justice system sees how, you know, genuine and generous of a person you are. Even if you don't have it, you know, they see, they see that, like, you, you know, you, you're like, you're the type of person that will give this shirt off of your back. You literally could have done that. I mean, I know I've done that um, quite a few times. Um, they're literally giving the shirt off my back to people. So, the justice system sees that. And, every, and like, all those good deeds you do, um, 
you know, and, and, you, and you do it too, like, you know, genuinely, you know, you don't expect anything back and the people and like the justice system and everybody sees that too, all right? Now, the, all these, you know, good deeds that you do and everything, you know, it does not go, it did not go unseen or unnoticed, okay? God and Archangel Metatron have been recording every, you know, good deed you've done and everything and, you know, what these people have done to you and how, how open-hearted you've been and genuine and loving and nurturing and caring you've been for these people even when they're hurting you. So, you know, it's about to pay off, guys. It's seriously about to pay off now and generously, too. All right. So, let's not, please, guys. It's very important. Always, 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 please always remember to thank God, to thank Jesus, to thank angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away um, for all that they do in our lives, okay? For everything. You know, just being able to wake up and breathe, you know, um, to be mobile, to have your sight, to have your hearing, um, to be able to smell, to be able to feel, to be able to walk, you know, for your family, for everything, okay? Um, and their protection for every, literally for everything, okay? Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What does the collective mean? Ooh, bad fucking karma for this person. Just like I caught that fucking card right there. It's the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. All right, whoever was lying on you and everything else, they're getting hella bad karma. Hella bad karma. Your karmic ass family, um, your ex, anybody in, in you know, people that you consider to be family, anybody in this devilish entity, they're getting bad, bad karma. All right, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is hella bad of karma. And they're losing jobs, they're losing, they're definitely, someone definitely lost a job, and I feel like it might have been a good job. Mm. And they're not protected either. A house, something about a house. Somebody could have lost a house. Their whole foundation is falling apart. They're trying to get you kicked out, you could have possibly lost a place. And it was because of them. Something about a house here. Maybe a house was stolen from you. Now guys, if you got kicked out, or if you lost like a, somebody either got kicked out or lost a storage unit or something. You might have lost a storage unit or uh, something. Um, maybe someone kicked you out, stole your, you know, or maybe you have a roommate and somebody stole your shit or something like that. Like, the, just, just trust me, they're getting bad karma for this, okay? You're getting everything that was taken from you is coming back to you, okay? You're, it's all, you're gonna get everything back. Don't look at it as a loss, okay? I know it's, it's, it's easier said than done, but just trust me, okay? Um, whatever was taken from you, look at it as, like, a blessing in disguise, all right? Because you don't know... Like, especially if it was like a storage unit that was stolen or, or you lost because you just, maybe you lost a job and you just couldn't pay a storage unit. Um, or, you know, uh, maybe somebody illegally kicked you out. Um, they're getting bad karma for that. Or if, like, maybe someone robbed your house. Don't look at it as, like, a, um, I know it sucks. Trust me, we have 10-10 here, too. It's completion. It's the end of a cycle. 10-10. But, um... Yeah, it's just it's bad at karma for these people. But look at it like this, okay? Especially if it's like some of the stuff you got, like could have been gifts from people, like people gave you something, gifted it to you. You don't know what was attached to those gifts. You don't know if somebody put curses upon you and stuff. So look at it as like, you know, God's you're gonna get um everything that's stolen from you back times ten. Alright, if not if not more. Alright, so now um you're you're gonna be able to replace anything that was stolen from you or taken from you, okay? Or lost, you know, right? And at least now, like, when, when you get whatever this blessing is, you're going to be able to um, start anew, all right? And that's the way, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm going through a similar situation, like, something similar to this, okay? So, I'm just, like, um, when I got the bad news, I, I just right away, I was just like, you know what? I know there's something better for me. This is, I know, I know this is supposed to happen. And what was taken from me, I'm just looking at it like, you know, you know what, I don't really need it. I haven't even used any of it in, uh, I haven't even seen any of it in, 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 in months. So, um, I'm just taking it as like, you know, it's meant to happen. And I know God's going to balance it out. So, um, yeah, it sucks. Trust me, it sucks. It, it does, but it's okay. Um, and since like, if you, if you go with that mindset, 
and you trust in God, if you trust in Jesus, if you trust in, you know, angels, ancestors, and passed away, you best believe, because it was done very shadily, um, illegally, too. What was done to you was very illegal. So you could be going through a similar situation. You best believe they're getting bad karma for that. And, um, it definitely could be a lawsuit, without a doubt. Uh, I know my situation is, it was a lawsuit. It was illegal, what was done to me. And, um, you know, we're getting justice for that, okay? And I just look at it as, like, you know, fuck it. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff, like, it just, it's memories, too, of, of my past. Which I, of people that I don't want nothing to do with. Yes, there were some stuff that meant a lot to me. But, um, you know, like, especially with, with, with people that passed away and stuff that was gifted to me and stuff that, you know. But I'm, I'm looking at it as, I haven't even seen this stuff in how many months. You know what I mean? So, um, and... I already know what it's in for. There's a bigger plan. There's a bigger thing at, at, at play here. All right. And it's going to be returned to us. So don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. And I know it sucks. Trust me. I know. I know. I know. I'm going, going through it. I'm going through it too. But just trust the process. Trust that it was meant to happen. All right. And trust whoever did it and what was done is coming back to you. Okay. It's coming back. Um, it might not be the actual um, property, but you're going to, you're going to get back what was taken from you, and, um, you're going to get better, okay, you're going to come back better, better, you know, you know, it's coming back, and it's going to be better, and, um, just look at it as, like, a blessing in disguise, okay, and if you do that, it's, like, I feel like you did do that, and these people are, like, because it was meant to destroy you, too, it was done intentionally to, like, in, with the means of trying to destroy you to try to get your frequency lower so they're trying to send an attack to you they thought that this would be a great idea like oh this will get the, this will get the collective off balance no the fuck it didn't and they're like they're shocked they're shocked that it didn't they're like what the fuck how the fuck did i just take what they thought was everything from you they didn't take shit from you all right they didn't take you know what would be taking everything from you is taking your connection with um with god they can take your connection with jesus and that cannot be taken okay and just trust the process, trust the fact that it was meant to happen, and that there's something better, and I feel like you did, or you're going to, if, if something like that happens to you, um, just trust it, just trust that it was meant to happen, give it to God, ask, you know, um, you could possibly be somebody that could, you know, ask for karmic justice to be served, you know, um, have karmic justice to be served, okay, and, you know, call upon our karm um, karmic justice to be served, okay, and if you have the power to do that, it will be. And I feel like that's what happened, um, for sure. And, you know, bad karma is here, whooping that ass, <laughs> taking your names, confirmation. You always do this at once. There's someone about a house, somebody's losing their whole foundation, okay? Uh, especially if somebody did this to you, if they robbed you, um, you best believe they're, they're, they're losing everything. You might be the one getting it, because you might be suing these people, alright? My situation is a major lawsuit. It's a major lawsuit. And it also just opened up a can for, um, you know, for lawsuits that, like, for, you know, what I should have done a while ago with the shady shit that happened to me. It, um, definitely illegal ass shit that was done that I, I, out of kindness in my heart, that I just let slide. But, yeah, you want to open up a can of worms? Okay, say no more. Well, then I'll do what I was supposed to do a long time ago. You know what I mean? Just look at it like that. We're going to make out. You're very gifted. Bad karma to somebody that's trying to attack your spiritual gifts. They're trying to, yup, like I said, they're trying to end your fucking spiritual gifts. You're, they're trying to get, like I said, they're trying to send, this is why they do this shit, guys. It's very important. When something is going on in your life, like, it, it seems like it would be like a, um, like, like, you feel like giving up. Don't give up. And it's very important to keep your frequency and your energy high, okay? Because they purposely do this shit because at that time, when you realize, when you master yourself and you realize, okay, um, when something really bad happens in your life, okay, or what seems to be really bad, something that's meant to destroy you, they do it on purpose because they're trying to get you off balance. They're trying to lower your frequency because they're trying to send some sort of attack to end you, to end your spiritual gifts, to end your life, all right? So it's very important to keep that frequency high, all right? And I feel as though what happened was, this is exactly what happened. I know this is what happened. They did this, right? They'd send, they thought, they're like, all right, cool, let's just go in and, like, give us bad news. And then, you know, they're going to be totally all fucking balanced. They're going to be going batshit crazy. 
um, and I'm gonna send this death magic, ready? And I'm gonna steal their gifts. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I'm gonna end them. No. And guess what? They conjured up something really dark because they thought that it would be the best time to do this. But they didn't realize that your frequency was all the way up. All the way up. And it could be a father figure. It could be a workplace. It could be an uncle. Um, they're trying to end your spiritual gifts and whatever you are, your empowerment. Your work, whatever you're doing with, like, with your spiritual gifts in, in your workplace, okay? And they... They thought it was a great idea. They were really fucking dumb for doing this. They thought they knew you. They don't know shit about you. Now, guess what's happened to them? We turned to sender. And it was something very dark that they sent to you. But you, my darling, um, either had your frequency all the way up. You didn't let it affect you. You trusted that it was meant to happen. You seen intuitively what was going on. Um, or you're going to. This is what's going to happen if it didn't happen already. So, God, this might be a reason why this happened to me to let you know now before it happens to you. So, you know, you know what to do. So, something like this happens to your. Just, it's always very important whenever you get some sort of bad news, um, especially if it's something really bad, keep your frequency up, keep your energy up, because that's when they're sending this attack to you to try to end, completely end your spiritual gifts, you being a spiritual leader, and your work, whatever you're doing with your work, with your spiritual, because they know you're about to be in this emperor, whether you're masculine or feminine, they know you're in this empress already, you're about to be your own boss, you're about to be, you know, you're, you know what I mean, they're trying to end it, but guess what, you're going to have a reason to celebrate, because you, you know, if you do this, if you, if you trust the process, you trust God, you trust Jesus and the angels, the ancestors, the one that passed away, and trust that they have your back, and they have something better for you, boom, what really dark shit that they conjured up for you to end you, it's going right back to the sender, and it did, and it's very bad, like, people are losing their lives with this, people are gonna end up, look, look, look at this, the magician card right here, <laughs> can't make this shit up, Look at that peeking out. The magician card. It's their death magic coming right back to them. They're shocked and they're scared to death. They are scared to death. They're scared to death. But they, they but they thought it was okay to do this to you, right? I don't fucking think so. It's not okay to do it to anybody. And they're about to find the fuck out. You might get some bad news about somebody passing away. Or people passing away. Okay, let's work on this. And all these lies, major lies, betrayals that were made about you, all these motherfuckers are done. They're losing everything. They're losing jobs. They're losing homes. They're losing lives. They're, people are fighting amongst each other. They are real dumb when they did this. They thought they were slick. They thought they were real fucking slick. They're going to find out real quick. They realize, like, you have the power. They're dumb. The devil could definitely be here collecting some souls. Souls. Plural. Because whoever had a hand in it, <laughs> it's getting um the, the, the backfire. You could intuitively know this, possibly. And it's also very bad for them trying to attack your spiritual gift, especially if you're in your purpose doing what God sent you here to do. They're fucking dumb because they're not attacking you at this point. They're attacking God because you're doing God's work. God's speaking to you, working through you, to you and through you. Okay, so they're not attacking you. These idiots need to realize they're attacking God. And you must be fucking dumb to think that you are ever going to attack God and get away with that shit. Real fucking dumb to think that you could ever have a chance to go up against God. Are you fucking dumb or retarded? Sorry for that, but that seriously, it's fucking does, it boggles my mind. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and love on the past Yeah, they did a lot of manipulations, a lot of lies, and major betrayals, and a lot of manipulation, a lot of chaos. They're doing a lot of shit and devilish energy, and it's all backfiring for them. Now, you, my darling, you, they're, you're, they're all missing out on opportunities from all, and the, like, the whole world's falling apart, okay? They didn't block shit, okay? They tried to, they didn't block shit, all right? Um... Now, you're getting good karma. Like, you're getting many opportunities in whatever creative um, that's coming in quick, too. You, I feel like you have more opportunities already at play that you don't see, that you don't realize that you have. All right? But God's giving you um, many opportunities. And with your creativity, your fertility, whatever you're doing, um, you know, with your creativity, your fertility, that you're working hard for, and what with your spiritual gifts as well, it's coming in quick, all right? 
just trust God, guys. I'm telling you, just trust. Everything happens for a reason, okay? And just trust the bigger picture. Trust God. Trust trust that God has your back, that Jesus has your back, the angels, the ancestors, and all those passed away that got your back and they're guiding you. You know, uh, especially because I gave I gave Jesus the wheel. I was like, look, you know, I'm sit passenger seat, you take the wheel and you know, um, I'm gonna sit in the passenger seat, feed off and you tell me what to do and, and I do. You know what I mean? And ever since I did that, um, you know, life's been so amazing and everything's just been coming to me like so effortlessly easily you know what i mean like my life just feels so much better and it's because so how could i dare possibly question god or to uh, question jesus when i gave him the will you know what i mean and i'm sitting co-pilot co you know what i mean like so i'm sitting past journey like um he has the wheel he's 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 guiding me he's driving me so like how, how dare i you know get upset or, or you know you could be you could be upset about whatever happens but how am i gonna let it really affect me when i know god got the wheel you know what i mean when 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 jesus is the one driving this bitch so he's obviously driving me in the right direction you see what i'm saying and because of this you know if you do that and because of that this is why you're gonna get all these options um you know what i mean and he's going to divert you from the the he's going to make sure that he passes and and swerves every false like false um option coming your way and he's gonna lead you to the right divine options and any snake ass options of people that's why like your cutoff being is so is so on point and so vicious like and your swerve is like so you're like you know you can cut a bitch off real quick and you can swerve you're dipping and diving and dodging bullets and landmines like a motherfucker somebody could be in the military um thank you from the bottom of with all my heart um to any and everybody who's ever um who's ever served thank you thank you thank you god bless your beautiful souls um you know but uh but like you're you're literally dodging because you know you jesus got the wheel so how can you really i'm i'm, I'm never gonna question god i'm never gonna question jesus are you kidding me i'm not gonna fuck no they got especially they got the wheel you know what i mean and once you once you master yourself and you realize this it's like your life's gonna be so much easier but i feel like you are i feel like this is what you're doing and this is why you're getting such good karma and like you're everything is speeding up for you and these people are scared to death they're like what the fuck are you kidding me right now yeah they tried to steal your options they tried to steal this they're getting bad karma for what they stole from you this inheritance oh shit they're hella nervous because you're hella protected and what they stole from you and this inheritance that was stolen from you is protected and they know this I feel like whoever passed away left you this inheritance, they felt, they knew this is what happened. Whoever passed away left this inheritance to you, they knew there was some shady shit going on. They had a feeling somebody was going to try to steal this inheritance. So they, they, they either let some sort of authority figures know about this or they did something. Oh my God, this is the download I got like not that long ago where the, or it was a father that left this woman, um, left his daughter. Now, it doesn't have to be a father, doesn't, you don't have to be the daughter, but this is just the scenario. This is what the download that I got, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. But um, the father left the daughter an inheritance. She was married to some piece of shit dude, right? She, um, he passed away, and he, she was his only kid, and um, he left her, he was very rich. He didn't, she didn't even know he was, he, that he had all this money, he had a lot of stocks and bonds, right? So he passes away. The the boy, the husband was a total piece of shit to her, and she's looked. You know, whenever the lawyer came to her and was like, you know, this is what you're getting. Da da da. Well, there was a video that the father left, and it's like, hey, honey, I just want you to know, um, I you know I made some good investments in my life. You didn't know about, but I have a lot of money. I'm even. Oh, I just got the chills all over my body. Ooh, sweet me dear. Um, ooh, um, so. He's like, I, I, I know the person that you're with, he's, you know, total dick, blah, 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 whatever he's saying. He's like, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to listen to me. And he's like, I'm leaving you $20,000, all right? He's like, but there's more. He's like, I want, this is what I want you to do. So he goes over, she goes over and then it cuts, you know, she goes over to 
but her husband was like, hey, honey, with a with an envelope with $20,000 in it. And she goes, hey, honey, um, he's like, go cook me some dinner, blah, 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 whatever he says. He starts talking mad shit to her, and he's calling her worthless and everything else. And she's like, no, but look, look, open it. And he's like, what do you mean, open it? So he opens up the envelope. There's $20,000. Like, where'd you get this? And he was like, my dad left it to me. My, oh, my dad left it for us. And he's like, this is mine. And he tried taking it. And she was like, oh, he's, and he's like, uh, you know, he's telling her, like, this is mine, this is mine. And, uh, and then she's like, all right, well, hold on, look, my daddy wants you to see this. And it says video of her dad, and it was, like, the other part of that video that he left her. He was like, yeah, I know that he was going to do this to you, and I just want you to, to see how much of a piece of shit he is. And then, like, the dad's like, oh, yeah, so she's like, my dad has a message for you. And then, <laughs> so, like, this is what he told her to do, and so she did. So then she shows him the part that he wanted her, and he's, like, you know, telling her, he's like, oh, by the way, you had, she had millions of dollars. He left her millions, but he purposely gave her $20,000. So I feel like maybe possibly your loved one could have possibly either let authorities know ahead of time because maybe they do that somebody was trying to do this to you or maybe somebody tried to take your, your loved one out. So they let the authorities know that, hey, some shady shit's going on or he did something or she did something that whoever left this money to, to where they thought that, you know, they left a little bit of money in one which is still a lot of money but not compared to what was really left to you so these people in this established energy they came over they got what they thought they stole from you but the authorities already knew um the authorities already knew that uh that you know some shit, shit was going on so they're being investigated the whole time they got away with a little bit but you're getting that back but what is left what was actually really truly left to you is way more and the authorities like the red flags are already there because your loved one had passed away i'm strongly getting this is like some sort of that kind of scenario um something like that happened or you might already intuitively know maybe your dad or whoever left you this money your your grandfather your 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 mom your your whoever it is your grandma your nanny your nana anybody whoever the fuck it is um your aunt your uncle whoever it is it could even just be a loved one it could be a, you know um anybody but that maybe they already contacted you and, and told you so i remember my dad too he before you know it was like two years before he passed away he already knew what was happening what was being done to him and he gave me um did i say that actually no never mind i apologize guys i'm being told not to say that part so never mind never mind but i feel like something like that's happening to you okay i apologize but i was just told you know not to say that that's pretty much um, what I'm saying is you're you're golden, you're Gucci, you're protected. Um, I feel like they did get away with stealing some money from you, but it was only a little bit compared to what was really left to you. And it was, and the authorities already know about it because the person had passed away. Um, they knew what was going on, all right, and they they let the authorities know. So you're, and not only are you getting back to what, like, you know, what they stole from you, you're also going to sue these people. They're going to prison for what they've done for all their lives, the major lives betrayal, okay, about um, what they did to steal this inheritance too. They could have definitely poisoned your loved one too. That could have even been it too. They, they could have seen when they passed away, they got the autopsy, they could have had a... a found out that they there was you know poison in their in their blood in their system so automatically they did an investigation they didn't say nothing they did investigate that could be another scenario as well something like that's happening to you guys okay oh hello we have, yeah, Great Pain Flower Agony. It came like this. I'm just going to take it in reverse because that's the way it is. They wanted you. They're trying to come smile on your face, tap you in the back, call you, put, have you, you know, um, bound and have you in Great Pain Flower Agony. You're not. You're absolutely not. They are now. It's mirroring them. They are. And you're free. You're freed from all this bullshit. They're now going to be in that energy. But they are in this energy now. Look at that. God's balancing everything out. Everything's being balanced out. They're under heavy judgment for this. Um, with your karmic family and, you know, everything else. Your money, everything. Yeah. And whatever you do for work or this father figure, this uncle, this, um, ooh, no. Sorry. I just felt like I got, like, stabbed. Somebody could have got stabbed in the head. That was weird. It felt like a, it felt like somebody could write, um, at the top of my... That was weird. Fuck, I never had that happen before. Someone's sending me some sort of text. It's not going to work, though. Don't worry. 
But um, somebody could have got stabbed. Ooh, that's funny. Take his look. Somebody could have got stabbed in their head, like right above their their right eye, but like on the top part of their head, above their forehead. Maybe somebody passed away that way, or someone's going to. They sent us some sort of dumbass attack. I'm not gonna affect you again. Like I will let little things like that happen, so that you know we'd be aware of what's happening. That was weird as fuck, though. I never had that happen before. All right, so we have the emperor here. Um, they're trying to end you. You. It could be this emperor is trying to end your spiritual gifts and you because you're way too fucking smart. You're way too fucking. You're way too wise. You're way too powerful. You're way too gifted. They're, they're, this emperor could be passing away. But you're gonna be. You're becoming your. You know your own emperor. God's bouncing everything out in your workplace and everything, in every area, every aspect of your life. Okay. The lovers. Bad karma for your thing could be a couple, and that went that joined or your ex that joined up with your family. But also, you're coming, you're getting balanced, everything's getting balanced out, and you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. And it's bad karma for these people, um, your ex, and this you know, there's some sort of there's some couple that's been coming up against you, um, and you know that that was you know with your ex that that partnered up with your ex with karmic family of yours and people in your past to come up against you. They're the ones getting really bad um, karma, real bad karma. It's in the devilish energy. Yeah, all the lies, betrayals. They did a lot of moon magic, a lot of death magic. They did a lot of bullshit. That backfired coming back to them really quick. And all the, the, the lies, betrayals, and um, manipulation, everything that was done, everything that was hidden, is coming, um, is coming to light, and it's coming in quick. And it's a major backfire from, it, there's a lot of lies and betrayals. A lot, a lot. A lot just come into it, and that you know it's being sent back to these people. What's the divine spirit? Angels. Yep, everything I just said is Ace Rose Truth. The one million percent Ace Rose Truth has come to light. Everything that fucking that has been that's been said, they're fighting about this this truth and this this major like one million percent Ace Rose Truth and clarity has come and it's coming in quick. And it's about all these lies, betrayals, and everything. You're protected from all this bullshit and all this magic, everything that they're doing. You're free from this bullshit. All right? You know, you're, just, you're over here working on yourself, you know, um, planning your future, okay? You have, like, the whole world in your hands, or you're about to. And the one million percent you told the truth about their plans that's come to light, too. Of what their plans were to end you, to try to get you um, incarcerated, to try to to, to, to to try to frame you, to like all the lies and betrayals, all the plans to unalive you and everything else, um, and their plans to steal your inheritance and everything else, and the things that they went to try to unalive you and possibly your loved one as well has come to light. Emperor, boom, baby, boom, bad karma for this emperor. It could be um. A father figure, an uncle, it could be a workplace or something about a workplace that you're suing. There's some sort of old job or maybe you still work there. You're going to sue them. Everything's being balanced out with that. They're under heavy judgment. But also, like, you're coming into union with your divine counterpart. One of you is the emperor, one's the empress, or, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, there's a lot of people under heavy judgment here. There's a lot of lies, like your ex and your this workplace. There's something about a lot of lies. I feel like so there's um, their, your old job. I feel like stole your identity. They're getting bad karma for that. You could have identity protection. <laughs> Dumbasses didn't realize that. I know. I got yeah. It's very important to have identity protection for real. For real, I got that shit. And their investments, what they invested in. Whatever your whatever seeds you're planting, they're flourishing beautifully, you're gonna end up becoming your own boss, okay? Well, God, let's not forget God is our, our actual boss, but you know, in a three D, the only person you're really gonna have to answer to is your is, you know, is is God and yourself. Like you're gonna be your own boss, you're gonna open up a business or something. Somebody lost the house. The whole foundation's falling apart, these people and um somebody definitely lost the house. It could be your ex, it could be a couple. Their bad karma is coming to them. They're under this is part of their karma. It could be your house that was stolen from you, all these lies and betrayals. They caused a lot of the, you know, to, to get you kicked out to or to to steal this house from you. You're getting it back. If that's the case, and if they sold it, if they sold this um house of yours or if they did any damages, you're getting them or they're gonna have to pay you for it. 
there's a lot of like their whole these people's whole foundations are what is is built off of fucking lies and betrayals they they steal this is like a secret society group cult so like whatever the fuck this is just a group of people that like are out here they they, they literally they scalp people out to, to just rob like kill and destroy all right they get a life insurance policy out on people they unalive them they steal it you know and especially if they know they have like good money they you know it's people that they scout out that either are going to inherit money or they already have money themselves and then they put a life insurance policy out on them they try to unalive them they steal their fucking their shit well this all comes to light now their whole foundation everything everybody needs that bush energy they're dumbing down Year of 2024, it's year of karma, it's year of the dragon, it's the year of eight. What goes around comes around, and they're getting well, everything that they've been putting out to this world. They're getting this bad karma coming back to them while we're getting, you know, good karma and getting everything that was stolen from us, right? And you're getting this, you know, could you're getting this divine um, love offer? It could have possibly moved, possibly um, recently. Yeah. Someone's knee could be, uh, somebody could like Rick and Morty. Someone's knee could be Rick. <laughs> Got my little Morty socks on right now. Or Rick sucks, I mean. So they can do this. Yeah. And we have the, the Page of Cups here. Alright. Um. The truth, I feel like your ex tried lying to people, saying that they left you and that you're obsessed with them and all this other. They're made a, a bunch of lies, childish ass fucking lies. The truth has come out about this. Well, so you're coming into union. You're going to have a loyal love offer with your divine counterpart. They're coming in with a message. They see you as their queen of cups. All right, they can't get you out of your head. Now, also, these people from your past, they can't sleep at night because of what, what they invested in and about how whatever seeds you're planting, they're growing flourishing. They are flourishing beautifully. You're about to be your own boss, and they can't stop you. They won't stop you, and they're heavily burdened about this and about, like, the one main point, truth and clarity coming out. They're fucking, you know, they're scared of death. They're in deep emotional pain. This king, um... Yeah, this king cuss has been, you know, uh, they're caught. They could have got caught cheating or something like this. I feel like this should, should be in the rebirth. I feel like this is your ex. But, um, you know, my cards are always in the upper right unless spirit tells me otherwise. And to, unless spirit lead tells me to, to, um, to do a mix. And that's rare. Some, I'll do it once in a while, but only when I'm, I'm led to. Um, just because I prefer to do it this way. But yeah, I can, I can feel this energy is a king cups rebirth. It's like an ex possibly. Or just like a very cold hearted, detached evil person um they're they got could have got caught i feel like they got caught cheating and they got kicked out right abusing their power they see that you my darling that you are very powerful you are a spiritual leader you're very powerful you're very good looking you're very attractive inside and out you're very beautiful all right you're gonna have a reason to celebrate because you're getting justice all right and you're getting new beginnings and complete ending to somebody else's like somebody's losing all their fucking money because you're getting new beginnings, and it's a painful permanent ending to these people in this past, okay? I'm going to leave it right here, guys. All right, please do not forget to give God, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation. Because they're moving mountains for us and getting ready to bring down miracles on us, all right? Um, spread love, not hate, always. And please, please, guys, always remember and don't, um, that you are beautiful. You are handsome. You are amazing. You are strong. You are courageous. You are powerful. Um, you're extremely powerful, all right? And... You know, don't let anybody ever lie to you and tell you any different, all right? God bless your beautiful souls. I absolutely love you guys. Please hit that like button. Please hit share if you like to share. And hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all. So you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but if it is, truly appreciate it. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of the soul of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so. And who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Alright, I absolutely love you. Uh, love you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed day. God bless.